good morning this is uh, sunil again so today we are at another site in uh, bangalore this is in uh, harlur in bangalore so like in one of the previous uh, projects here also we have done two kinds of uh, solar pv system in the same site this here uh, the, the one at the back side this is a 4.2 kilowatt completely off grid system one part of the house this house this house is divided into two parts one a duplex house and the other is for the tenants the duplex house is completely run for all the critical applications in this 4.2 kilowatt off grid system in front of me this is a uh, on grid system with micro inverters this is about 4.8 kilowatt system this is a conventional on grid system connected to the mains of the house so this actually reduces the electricity bill of the house this gives or rather this uh, this uh, 4.2 kilowatt off grid system completely powers the house 24 bar 7 for almost all the electrical applications so we will go into detail and explain to you both the systems so as i told you this is a 4.8 kilowatt on grid 4.2 kilowatt off grid system we have used uh, longi solar panels bifacial monoperc uh, panels and it's uh, the layout is done in such a way that it's actually pretty easy to walk around the place quite easy to actually clean so as i have told you in one of the previous videos it's very important to actually have good walkway or good uh, good you know uh, good room around the panel so that it's easy to maintain and clean so you can come down so we will now explain the on grid system and the off grid system the one of the uh, features of this project is we have used a lithium ion battery for the off grid uh, uh, application so there are two batteries we have used we will explain the batteries in detail when we go into the electrical room let's come down and have a detailed view of the entire system so these are the uh, nine panels nine uh, monoperc bifacial panels so this is connected to our on grid system so you can see here these are the micro inverters this is the the next series of micro inverters from enphase this is iq hc series so all the nine micros are connected here you can see here there's a layout of uh, uh, micro inverters and this is connected to the mains i'll show you the the mm. gateway and other stuff mm. when we go down so this makes the on grid system so these nine panels are connected here there is a, a terminal block and it goes into the mains another feature of this project is again this is a, a non invasive structure so this entire frame the entire mounting structure is just resting on uh self weight and friction so there's no bolting no anchoring or anything this entire system entire structure is designed so that the system is stable by its own self weight so now we will uh, get into the electrical room so where we will talk about the off grid system and certain components of the off grid system and the batteries we will get into the electrical room here this room houses all the components of the off grid system we will see each and every component one by one and give a brief explanation you can come inside so now this is the complete uh, off grid system uh, inverter and the other electrical components here we have uh, shown off grid systems before also here this is another kind of an inverter this is from a company called victron this is another premium make of the of the inverter so this is an inverter charger of uh, 5000 ba we have a, a charge controller here we have a, a dc dc input box or the array junction box what they call then the charge controller this is designed for the uh, for the voltage of the panels this is the inverter charger and this is a communication box so essentially any all the data all the data of of the system is being captured and transmitted to the cloud through this uh, system and we also have a ac side box that is the uh, box which actually houses the ac side components both input and output as you can see i explained to you again the input is off so basically this entire inverter charger is only being powered by solar and the entire house loads is being run exclusively and only by solar power another feature of the system is this battery so this is each battery is 5 units or 5 kwh 
This is from a company called Newnum. They actually upcycle batteries and, and, and convert it for solar applications. So there are two batteries connected in parallel, each of uh, five units. This is a lithium ion battery. And we have a guest here today. He is from uh, Newnum. He is going to explain the battery in detail and tell you some of the exclusive features of the system. So over to you, Nilesh. You can perhaps talk about the battery and all the... Uh, hello everyone, so Nilesh here from Noonam Technologies. So what we do at uh, Noonam is like uh, build a upcycle lithium ion battery packs. Uh, so what you are seeing here, like uh, we are at one of the, our site at uh, Harlur with Hindran Engineering, uh, which is like powering completely off-grid uh, system. So usually battery packs are what? It's a, just a form of multiple cells. So what we have used here cells are from the electric vehicle. So what happens once battery retires from electric vehicle, usually it goes for recycling. But at noon, we have developed a technology where we harvest the good cells of this electric uh, vehicles. So noon, this NES eco series provide a premium uh, cells at affordable cost. So these cells are usually like high energy and high uh, power uh, cells. Uh, plus compared to the new uh, lithium ion battery packs, we uh, generate like low carbon footprint like compared to 70% lower. Uh, now talking about like we offer like more of safety perspective. It has like multiple layer of safety. Uh, first level is like it has connected its own uh, BMS which keeps always monitoring and uh, take a in action at a moment. Plus on top of that there is a one IoT device connected uh, which like continuously talks with the BMS and sends data to the cloud. So through the data, we can preliminary take action. If anything is there, we can uh, uh, alert that. And in worst case, it will turn off the battery. Plus on top of this, all these lithium ion cells are gone through multiple checks and tests. So which qualifies the battery at the uh, one of the premium uh, battery. Uh, plus on top of that, whatever you are seeing this IoT box. So through this, you can live monitor as well as it's a warranty also you can track with that. And also we are transparent with the customer. So it's not like that. Okay, You can also see live how many cycle has been used from the battery. Also, when we provide a, a warranty, it's like full equivalent cycle. It means one complete full charge and discharge at that time will consider one cycle. Then you might have questioned that, okay, if you are using daily like 30% or 50%. So in that scenario, we'll consider it as a like 0.5 or half cycle as per your usage. So we'll give full warranty for full equivalent cycle. Uh, now, plus on top of this, uh, you can see that our batteries are modular and uh, stackable. So as per your convenience, like it's stackable for high energy application as well. Mm, yeah, uh, that was it from the Noonam's uh, battery. Thanks, thanks. Thank you, Dilish. So we will just continue with the, with the system. So you just saw about the, about the battery. Now, uh, there are a few more components, like how I told you, there is a uh, the distribution box on the DC side, there's a charge controller. There is also these uh, very cute little things. This is a battery switch, actually. So in one of the sites, we are actually seeing the fuse. We can use the fuse or we can also use the, uh, use the battery switch. So this is, one is for the positive side, one is on the negative side. Okay, so I'm not going to go into detail of each and every component. The off-grid system has eight panels, so four in each string. So you've got uh, uh, four fuses, two on the positive side, two on the negative side. There's also a spare fuse. There is a surge arrestor, a surge protection device, and a DC MC. And there is a charge controller designed for the uh, voltage coming from the panel. There's an inverter charger. This is called a servo. This basically transmits the data, captures the data of the system and transmits it to the cloud. So we can see our production, consumption, and if there's any alert or anything like that is, is captured here. And this is of course the battery. This is the IoT device. This also communicates with the cloud and it also gives preventive alerts. If there is some uh, heating of the battery or uh, the number of cycles consumed, everything is actually captured through this box and transmitted to the cloud. We also have our uh, ACDB or the incoming and outgoing AC distribution uh, uh, box. On the incoming side, we have got an ELCB, we have got a SPD, 
we have got an over voltage protector we have a mcb so the power which comes from the mains as i told you this can also take power from the mains we can uh, take it from solar also from the mains so mains are connected here in case of an emergency but you can see the elcb is off so mains are main power is not going into the inverter charger so basically the power from the input side after all the conditioning gets into the inverter the inverter output goes into a uh, spd again and there is a mcb and there's a change over switch in case of a fault we can change over and run the loads on the main so this is about the uh, acdb uh, box see all these boxes are all ip65 rated they are from a company called uh, hensel so this is about the off grid uh, system here i will just tell you a small feature of this uh, inverter we'll open this and and and, and do that open this inverter So this inverter charger, there is a uh, one input, and you can see there are two outputs. You can see here this AC output two. You're not connected here. You're connected only to one output, but this can actually give you two outputs. So you can uh, you can connect the critical applications to one input, sorry, one output, and the non-critical application to the second output. So if there's any balance power, we can also take or take it for the non-critical application. This is one of the good features of this uh, inverter charger so as i told you this is our ac distribution box so this can also take input from the grid as well as uh, any other kind of generator so this is the input side so we'll have to condition the power we don't want to feed any surges or anything so there is a elcb there is a mcb there is a surge arrester there is also a over voltage protection system so we have switched it off. If required, we can also switch it on. See, now I'll switch on the system. So now the inverter can be powered on also from the grid. So now the grid will come on. So we have programmed it so that it take, this takes a few seconds. So once the power comes on here, then the power is reflected into the uh, system. See, now the mains have also come on. But this system here is designed so that this doesn't take any input from the grid so the solar and these two batteries combining 10 units should meet all our loads one of the reasons is we don't want any kind of grid fluctuations to get into the house so we keep this always off so the grid is always off and the power is coming only through the inverter and of course this is the output side also we have given a spd there is a mcb and there's a changeover switch in case we want to run it only on the mains, we can also turn it down and it can run on the mains. Now it's running only on solar. So this is about our off-grid uh, system. Hope you find it useful. Thank you very much.